You know, elk hunting is kind of like the Super Bowl of big game hunting. They're incredible to watch. They're just majestic animals. Super attractive to hunt, super attractive to pursue, to watch, to be a part of. They're the grand prize of the big game hunting. You bump elk um, in the wrong way, you're never going to see that herd again for the rest of your hunt. I don't want to keep going in that timber. I don't know. There's too many bulls in there. I think we'll bust them. They're headed into the pines right now in the deep timber. Don't want to chase them into there. You know, that, that was the great lesson from this one is we don't have to bump them. Maybe we can just be conservative and, and hunt them and let them do their thing. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Just don't know. We knew they had a lot of options when they came back out of the timber. We had a lot of options and we, we kind of ended up in some middle ground. You're thinking that big log that's laid across about 100 yards. It felt like that was the place to be from a standpoint we could see more, but it just didn't feel right when all of us kind of looked around and went, uh, this, this isn't right. Like, I don't, I don't like this spot. You know, we had just a few minutes left of light and we said, you know what, let's bell now. One last meadow to, to check just before it got dark. It's always fun when you follow your gut and it ends up being right. Beautiful bull, real pretty six. It just don't shoot with a bull behind him, okay? That's a heck of a bull, huh? Great bull. Yeah, no, this was a good decision, Marty. That was a great hunt. That was awesome. It's humbling. It's humbling to be a part of these types of things. And this is good. I could sit in this chair for a thousand years. I grew up in a hunting family. My dad took me hunting all the time. It was always just part of me. I, I don't know a life that's different than that. You did good, Rafe. You did good. You know, in retrospect, looking back, 
Um, it's amazing how much influence Army F has had in my hunting career. The fabric of what I knew from hunting was these conservation groups, and Army F was a big part of that. This will add to the freezer, that's for sure. But now looking back and seeing the opportunities that are out there now as an adult, I see came from those efforts and the things they were doing even as a kid and I was just getting involved. They're single-handedly the best conservation group we have out there. Not just about an organization, it's not about their own personal jobs. This is about as altruistic of an organization as you could have.